Well, good morning, everyone. Thomas Montgomery here. It's a, a pleasure to be with you this beautiful Monday morning, November 8th, 2021 at 7.59 a.m. Central. We get together with our distribution partners most weekday mornings. Today, we have a, a relaunch of maybe what is a familiar term, but we've got a, an immense problem. And the immense problem that we're seeing is so many of our clients and really so much of, of our society is suffering unnecessarily from bad credit. You know, we, we know that there's the three C's when it comes to funding, credit, collateral, and cash flow. But within that, credit certainly is one of the most important of the three C's. But interestingly, it's also the most fluid. It's the easiest to change. And so we're going to talk about a simplified, more affordable, easier to implement approach to be able to help our clients get the credit that they need to be able to go buy a home, to go buy a car, to get business financing, to get student loans, or whatever it is that they're wanting to use their credit for. So as displayed here on the screen, we have a revised flyer, which I'm going to walk you through, and a revised resource site on the right-hand side, which we'll also go through. Same program, but a new, more affordable, simplified approach this is going to make money for you in a couple of ways. It'll put some money in your pocket each time you get someone in the credit suite program, which is, which is great for you and great for them. But maybe, maybe equally as important is helping them become more fundable so they can accomplish their capital raise goals more quickly, which generates even more income for you if they're in the Access to Capital program. All right, so we're gonna start with the new flyer, the new credit sweep flyer. And uh, we're just gonna read through it and, and have a little dialogue. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to list those on the question and answer function of Zoom and, and we'll, we'll discuss it. So 60 day credit sweep, leveraging your legal rights for better credit. So this is not credit repair. We're talking about legal strategies to address derogatory information. So is it compliant? Yes. Is it different than credit repair? Very much so, because we're using legal strategies to block negative information. So we start off the, the flyer by clarifying that credit repair typically does not work. Now, again, what you and I are doing is not credit repair, but it is specifically helping address credit. The 60-day credit sweep provides a legal, effective, guaranteed, and affordable way to address applicable derogatory items instead of disputing them. So I don't know how familiar you are with traditional credit repair, and there's lots of resources out there, and I'm not here to, to dump on that. But the traditional approach to credit repair, which we're not credit repair, but the traditional approach to credit repair is dispute, dispute, dispute. That is often a long and unrewarding journey. So instead, our network of paralegals will prepare the documents that are necessary to block applicable negative items from your credit report using fully compliant legal processes. This is not a credit repair program. Because what you and I know is if the credit bureaus don't comply, then that allows the injured party your client, the, the, the client, the individual, to have legal grounds to turn around and actually sue and collect money from the credit bureaus. So if we hold the credit bureaus legally responsible, then the outcomes will be what the client expects. And if the bureaus don't comply, the bureaus are at financial risk. The results in 60 days, were, it's a 60-day process, and many of you have gone through it and, and have seen that during that 60-day process, that there's not, a, and, and it could be less than 60 days, but we give it a 60-day window. There's not a lot of feedback. There's not a lot of hand-holding. We just need to give the process 60 days to proceed through. In almost all cases, we'll see results, often significant results, within that 60-day window. 
if everything is not accomplished, then the process can be repeated at no incremental, no additional cost to the client, but it would be another 60 day window then. So think of it as a 60 day cycle. What we've done is we've repriced this. And so Jeremy's asking about total credit rebuild. So this is standalone, just focused on the derogatory. So the total credit rebuild program, Jeremy, continues to exist. But what we found is we needed just something simple and cheap and effective to help people move forward. So while the total credit rebuild addresses other elements, it's a great value it's frankly more complicated. And, and the world often doesn't like complicated solutions, even if it's better. So this is simple, cheap, and effective. It'll make you money, and it's gonna get the clients where they need to be. So what we've done is we've built our pricing model around results. Who doesn't like that? And so we'll talk more about that in, in just a moment. So what can be addressed? Inquiries, collections, charge-offs, bankruptcies, other derogatory items. The bottom left here, we do have a referral program that we've set up. So the referral program with the credit suite is simple. Again, this is meant to be a simple solution. Simple, not complicated. If you refer someone in, you get paid 100 bucks. What if I'm a white label partner? You get paid 100 bucks. What if I'm an affiliate? You get paid a hundred bucks. What if I'm none of the above? You get paid a hundred bucks. It, it just, we've got to move towards simpler solutions because not everyone is able to assimilate more complicated responses. So we're going to keep it simple. So hundred bucks, no selling involved. We have a bunch of success stories, but one that we like to share, which was amazing here at the beginning of the year when we were first launching this. So a client, so these obviously are verifiable and true. Client came in, started on January 21st. I can make this a little bigger for us. There you go. Here we go. Client came in January 21st, 2021. TransUnion 524, Experian 528, Equifax 518. Within 60 days, granted even uh, much less than 60 days, results were amazing. TransUnion 748, Experian also 748, Equifax 734. So obviously individual results will vary. We've got a bunch of success stories and we've made some videos you've probably seen. But this is the, the real deal. And then we close the flyer in the bottom right hand corner here with what well, what would you do with better credit? Would you go buy a home, buy a new car, get financing to start or grow a business? So the 60 day credit suite is going to take them to a new page on the business paralegal website. And so this is it. And so this is going to reiterate what's on the flyer, but also it's the way to submit clients. So the clients will then be sent an Adobe packet to be able to get up uh, to, to get started. And then that will generate a commissionable event for you. So let's go ahead and briefly go through this landing page or this, this resource page for the 60 day credit sweep. And so if we just type in 60 day credit sweep, it will forward to here. So this is where it lands. Okay, so 60 day credit sweep explained. Better credit increases access to and reduces the cost of financing for housing, transportation, business loans, and much more. You're only 60 days away from a better and happier life. So does a client have to be in the access to capital program to use the credit sweep? No. Is it free for them if they're in the access to capital program? No, we've got to pay the paralegals, right? They don't work for free. Paralegals are great because they can do almost everything that an attorney can. Not everything, but paralegals can do almost everything that an attorney can, often at a fraction of the price. That's why we're able to do this so affordably. The 60-day credit suite provides a legal, effective, guaranteed, written guarantee note, affordable way to address applicable derogatory items. It is not credit repair. We do work in coordination with the 501c3 nonprofit, 
and our process is both transparent and FTC compliant. So the resource page here for 60 Day Credit Suite essentially has four columns of information and then the form for submittal, which we'll go to in just a moment. So again, we reiterate, this is a legal model. We're using a network of paralegals that's gonna prepare the documents to block those negative items. It's fully compliant with the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Section 605B, which requires the bureaus to block applicable items quickly from reporting on your credit reports. So now we're gonna to get to pricing. Some of you have already asked about pricing. We're very transparent. It's literally on the website. So it's not like people have to guess or, or try to figure out what it is. It's on the website, which is where we're going now. So it's affordable. So it says, unlike credit repair, which can often feel like paying for no results, our pricing model is super simple and affordable. They're gonna pay an initial document processing fee. We have to charge that because the paralegals don't work for free. So we're gonna have an initial document processing fee that they're gonna pay at the point of enrollment, $499. Very fair, a fraction of what they would normally cost to use attorneys. Let's say that they don't have $499. Well, we're going to then plug them into the referral program so they can earn the $100 a pop. And obviously once they've referred in five, they've generated the income. You and I are here to help everyone. We wanna cast a wide net, but you and I do not operate a welfare program. So if there's someone that has no credit and no income, you could argue they need money repair, right? They don't need credit repair. And I know we don't do credit repair, but the bottom line is at some point, if cash flow is not good personally or with your business and or with your business, you've got to generate some income, right? There's just no way around that. You can't, you can't ignore the fact that a person, a household, or a business needs to generate positive cash flow. And so if, if that's what needs to happen for the person to afford to enroll, be able to afford to enroll, then that's what they can do. But it's very fair. We have to pay the paralegals. They work for cheap, but they don't work for free. And then we have the performance part. People love this. It's based upon the results because what you don't want the client to say is, oh, well, I come up with this $4.99 fee and you don't care what happens after that. You've got my money. Uh, who? You know, what's the incentive for you guys to do the job? Well, we have all the incentive in the world because there's no profit off of that $4.99. The, the, the reward that we can benefit from is based upon let's get you the results and let's get you the maximum results. So it's based upon payment after they see the results, after they see the results of the credit improvement. And this is just based upon one bureau experience. When the client enrolls, we'll do a soft credit pull, which obviously doesn't impact their credit score, off of Experian, and that'll create the baseline score. So very, very objective, no, no fuzziness. And then that's what we're able to use to measure improvement, that same scoring algorithm, which is Experian FICO version 8. That is what we use for measuring the improvements, okay? We clarify that it's effective with no risk. This is a fast process with the results normally in, in less than 60 days. We saw that this success story was, was even quicker, but normally it's a 60-day cycle. If for some reason at the end of the 60 days, that cycle, we haven't seen the results that we needed, of course, we will repeat that at no cost to the client. This is effective for blocking inquiries, collections, charge-off, bankruptcies, et cetera. And we have obviously a written agreement. Everything that we do is in writing. There's no risk to the client. We have a written guarantee. So what happens, which I'll get to in a moment, once the client submits an inquiry or you submit a client, we'll submit them, we'll send them the Adobe form. We'll copy you on it as the referral source, but it is transparent in writing, clear. So we're all sure exactly uh, what we're doing. 
success stories. We have many success stories and we've gone through, we've had several trainings before with lists and lists and lists of success stories for the website here to try to keep things simple. We just put one on, but there's many others. And this is the same success story we referred to over on the flyer. So at the, at the bottom of the page is the submission form. So what we're doing is collecting the client's name, their email, and they can check either, I guess they could check neither, but the point is they need to let us know, are they interested in themselves? Are they interested in getting paid? Whatever they want, their phone number, and if they were referred by, who they were referred by, and then they hit submit. That'll come in, and then we'll be able to send them the Adobe packet which starts with this flyer and then it has the actual agreement, which is written very plain English, very easy to understand. Uh, they'll get daily reminders, you'll be prompted to. And uh, once they uh, complete that, then we can get started. So let's review why we're talking about this. The why is so important. We're seeing so many clients get submitted it's very interesting. We have some of you that are submitting clients, and I'm going to guesstimate here. I'd say some of you are submitting clients and we're seeing about a 50-50 mix. And what I mean by that is about half the people that you're submitting in qualify for cash funding right away, and about 50% don't. And then we'll have some of you that like 90% of the people you submit in qualify for cash funding right away for access to capital, where only about 10% don't. But there's some of you that's almost the opposite. It's almost, it's almost like everyone that some of you submit are not credit worthy enough to get cash funding. Well, that's okay. We have guaranteed financing. But we can't ignore the fact that you and I are here to improve their fundability. Do you have to use the Credit Suite program? Absolutely not. This is a resource that that if you don't have some better arrow in your quiver, we need to do something with these individuals because you can't expect someone to, to have such poor credibility in one of the three C's and think that it won't impact their capital raise. Now, does that mean that all types of capital look at personal credit? No. That, that is not true. There are some sort some sources of capital that don't look at personal credit. But in any way, should that be inferred that personal credit's not important? Of course it's important. It affects how much you pay on your homeowner's insurance. It affects how much you pay typically for auto insurance. A lot of jobs now will look at credit before they extend you employment. There, there's so many assets. There's just there's no one that's going to convince you or me that personal credit doesn't matter. And so you and I need to have a simple and affordable resource to help these people. And uh, Jeremy, take yourself. Uh, you've been great referring people in. Not a lot of your folks are getting cash funding offers. You probably want to offer them a solution that when they don't get a cash funding offer, okay, well, great. That's okay, we can help you. And this is a very logical next step. Uh, Timothy's asking, can he offer this on a standalone? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, there's not a prerequisite that the client be in access to capital to benefit from this. All right, so let's go through some of your, your questions. Well, I just, just summarize. So why is this important? It's crucially important because you and I are primarily focused on helping entrepreneurs obtain capital to start or grow a business and their fundability, their credibility matters. And credit is one element of that, that you and I have a simple solution to fix in most instances. All right. So Zahn asked, how much does the client pay? Well, and, and you probably typed this on before we got to it, but it is transparent, right? Simple. They're going to pay $4.99. And if they come back to you on and say, I don't have $4.99, then you can say, no problem, no problem. We've got a referral program and you can get after it, earn a hundred bucks for referring in people. Well, I don't want to refer in anyone. Well, then what are you doing to make money, right? It appears that in this hypothetical example of Zahn's client, well, if, if you're broke and you have bad credit, what's your path to get out of it? Because we're showing you a path to get out of it. If you've got a better plan, let's do it your way. 
but they obviously haven't done it already. All right, Jeremy says, cool. Let's see here. Doug's doing some creative math. And, and so I'm, I'm not sure we got that, Doug, but we, we just covered, this is simple, right? $100 for referring in others. We've covered it a couple of times. So Doug, if you're creating any other comp model for this, I don't know how you're creating it because this is simple. Everything's meant to be simple on this. We need to help. So again, the total credit rebuild still available includes this as one of the components. It's great, but it's complicated, right? It, it's more comprehensive. And I'm telling you, a lot of people want and or need simple. This is simple. Uh, Winston asked, does the clients pay us or do we, we'll pay you. Uh, we're going to send them a written agreement from Business Paralegal after this form comes in and uh, we will pay you. Let's see here. Tyrone asked, do we get $100 for signing up clients? Yep, yep. Again, I appreciate you asking. I'm, I'm getting, this, this is meant to be simple, simple. Now, I, I know someone, before we get to the end of this, probably Beatrice one of, or someone else could say, well, can you go white label this? Yes, we can work out something where you white label it, you control your own pricing, yes. But I, I, as soon as I say that, I know that will confuse some people. But yes, if, if you wanted to set up a white label version of this where you controlled the pricing, yes, we could work out something. But there's got to be some volume to warrant that. We just we can't continue to launch white label relationships and there's no performance. And so, yes, if you want if, if you see the value in this the way I do and you want this white labeled with with your logo, your link and, and, and for you to choose your own pricing, Absolutely, we can do that, but you, you've got, you'll have to commit to some volume. Otherwise, it just doesn't make sense for us to continue to set up white label relationships with people that are not creating volume. But yes, if you'd like a white label version of this, schedule a call, we'll visit offline, but there's got to be some guaranteed volume or it's just not worth your time or ours. And with that, you'd be able to set the pricing to, to whatever you want. Okay, let's see what other comments we got here. Tyrone asks, is $4.99 the total price? So that's interesting that you asked that, Tyrone. I, I, think, I think there's a disconnect. So you can see that there's number one and number two. And so the total price is based around one and two, isn't it? All right, so uh, Zahn's got a good question, and, and that's true. If, if you have a client that says, I don't want to agree to the unknown, I just want to pay a one-time upfront fee, I don't want to have two components, I want to have just one component then absolutely, we can work with them and there could just be a, a, a single fee. Now, will it still be $4.99? Of course not, it would be higher than that, but we can work with the client. If they wanna pay a document processing fee that's higher and not be subject to a performance fee, absolutely, absolutely. And, and normally that's a flat $1,000. If they wanna pay a flat $1,000 up front, then we can waive the performance fee. All right, so Spencer asks, the $10 per point, and, and it's just for one, this is just charged off of one bureau, just the Experian, as I mentioned earlier, it's not off of each bureau. And yeah, so it's just off of one bureau. And the, I know it's not clear here, but Spencer, the contract clearly states that it's just off the one bureau that we did the soft credit pull on. Thank you for that. Yeah. Otherwise, that'd be unfair. I mean, that it could be very expensive if it was $10 per point for each of the three bureaus. No, we just use Experian for that tracking. 
Pete asked, how's the $10 per point uh, billed and collected? Well, we invoice them, right? So uh, we, we do a soft credit pull with them. They do a soft credit pull authorization with us to create the baseline. And then we're able to check and see what the improvement is. And then we invoice them and they have five days to, uh, to pay that, that invoice, which is very fair. And it's always very objective. There, there's never any grayness. Oh no, that, that's not the new score. Oh, very much it is. Here, here's the new credit report. Here's the new score. Pete asked if the sweep covers all three bureaus. It does cover all three bureaus, but the performance fee is based off of just Experian because frankly, that's the bureau that we do our self credit pulls off of. Great questions. Let me clear those out. And, and, and I think Pete brings up a good point. It, it, it could be a, an issue. Well, let, let's look at this example. This person has a higher score on Experio. I guess I shouldn't have done that, right? Has a higher score on Experian and TransUnion than Equifax. We're, we're agreeing going into it that we're going to use Experian FICO bank card version eight as our scoring algorithm. Could it be that one of the other bureaus has a bigger increase or a smaller increase than Experian? I mean, it's possible, but we're agreeing upon the methodology. We're addressing all three bureaus, but we're just trying to keep it simple. So instead of saying, well, it's the average increase across all three bureaus, we're just keeping it simple, Experian. Again, this is stated clearly in the agreement. So everyone is uh, clear on that. So I think I answered Michael's question there too. Winston's asking about the commissions. And so again, there's two ways to earn commissions on this. If you wanna white label it, then we'll set up a white label model and you can charge whatever you wanna charge Winston, but you've gotta guarantee some volume because we just simply cannot spend a lot of time and energy. And this has nothing to do with you, Winston, but we're just, we just can't keep spending a lot of time and energy putting together white label programs for people that don't produce. So if you want a white label version of this, Set, set up a call, we'll discuss it, we can set it up, you can make a lot of money, help a lot of people, you can control the pricing. Uh, otherwise, it's simple, 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 right? Earn $100. So, good questions here. Keep going through it. Spencer asked, do we have a guarantee? Absolutely, it's in the agreement, which I didn't bring the agreement up here, but absolutely, we have a written Guarantee. Everything is in writing. Zahn's asking a question. So Zahn, I'm going to go back to it. There's two ways you make money from this. It's this right here, $100, or you can set up a white label with us where it didn't cost you anything to set up white label, but you got to guarantee some volume. Why? Because I've said it four times, I think now. We are tired of committing and setting up white label models for people that don't produce. It has nothing to do with you, Zon, because I know you produce. But if you want just simple, refer them in, make 100 bucks a pop. It's not a bad gig. No cost, no expense, no selling. If you want white label, we'll set this whole show up as a white label for you. Great. You control the prices and you can go make a million dollars a person or whatever you want. But those are the two options. We got to keep it simple. Simple, simple, simple. All right. And then, uh, well, Zahn brings up another good point. So with that second point, remember, with their credit score going up, then they're going to be able to qualify for financing. So in many cases, they would not have to pay for this out of pocket. At this point, they would qualify for financing um, that they could use. But I, I, I want to keep this separate. So does a 60-day credit sweep include getting loans? No, it's just it's, it's what we're showing here. It has nothing to do with accessing capital or getting mortgages or buying cars. Of course, those are ways you could use credit. But Zahn's point is right. 
that as long as they confront the 499 up front, and if they can't, they need really money repair, not credit repair, and you can fix their money situation by giving them a chance to earn money. They can go deliver DoorDash or drive Uber. They can do whatever they want. But if you have someone that's broke, and so I'm not demeaning it, but someone that's broke, they need to fix it, right? They need some cash flow. And so we can help them fix the cash flow or they can just go get a part-time job at 7-Eleven, whatever they want to do to fix their cash flow. But they need to be able to pay the processing fee. Paralegals will work cheap. They won't work for free. All right, so Winston's asked about when the commissions are paid. So if you're white label, I wouldn't even call it a commission, Winston, because you're setting the pricing, you're controlling the terms. If you're not white label, then the $100 is paid for referring in others who enroll and complete the 60-day program. So the $100 is paid after they've gone through that 60-day process. In other words, they've paid their initial and then they've paid for the improvement. But if you want to be white label, Winston, which I think is what you're heading towards, then you know you would set the pricing. This wouldn't have to be the pricing. This wouldn't even have to be relevant. You can price it however you want. You know, I'm a paralegal. We've got a team of paralegals. We'll be your your little workhorses, and and you can treat us like a third world boiler room. And you can go out and make all the money in the world, and we'll just sit in our little dark, cramped offices and do the work for you. That's fine. All right. So I think. Well, Jeremy thought that was funny. All right. So um, Latasha says uh, is a standalone. Well, okay. So uh, again, the, the credit. So let's summarize. We'll kind of wrap up, but, but summarize and answer Latasha's question. We needed, urgently needed to come up with a simple solution to address what we're seeing a lot of these people have, which is jacked up credit. A lot of these people are coming to us and they do not have credibility or fundability in terms of personal credit. Now, I've said a couple of times, not all sources of capital look at personal credit. We know that. But separate from that disclaimer, we needed something that worked, that was guaranteed, that was effective, that was affordable, that was simple to understand. We launched the total credit rebuild and that's fine. It continues to operate, but it's complicated. And I'm telling you, a lot of people went simple and easy and affordable. So that's what we're, we're launching today, bringing to your attention is a simplified solution for people that have jacked up credit. You make money, they get the results that they want. They can be in the access to capital program or this can be offered standalone. Some of you are credit repair professionals, which we're not, right? I'm a paralegal. This is done through paralegals. This is a legal model. We're not credit repair experts. We don't know all that knowledge that you all do to go dispute and all that. If you have a better way to fix these people's credit, then do it, please, for the love of God, please do it, because we have so many people coming to us that are completely lacking fundability and credibility off of that C. So if you've got a better way to fix the problem, do it your way and just do it quickly and effectively, because we need to get these people funded. So do we need to screen people that's coming into access to capital for credit? Absolutely not. We don't filter people off of how good their credit is. We accept people regardless of their credit scores. But does that mean that credit doesn't impact the approval of some sources of capital? Of course not, that's unrealistic. So we needed a simple, affordable, guaranteed, effective way to address credit for those folks that are lacking credibility and fundability. This works. And we've had trainings, we've got a bunch of success stories, but we put one here on the page just to, to validate it. All right, so Tyrone's asking, what about building the credit profile? So on the credit sweep, this is just what it is. We, we can't, as paralegals, expand beyond what our scope, what we can legally do. So as paralegals, we're doing this. Now, if you have a client 
that has other needs beyond just the credit suite, the addressing the derogatory, then of course, through the access to capital program, they can receive guidance and assistance and they can get trade lines added and, and those other aspects. But the credit suite is painfully simple. It is no more and no less than what's exactly shown here. And again, the client agreement is fully in writing. Ben asked a question about compensation. Well, Ben, you've asked a good question, and I'm going to go back to it. You're paid $100 for referring in people. You're paid $100 for referring in people. You want more, you deserve more, which I don't question or don't doubt, then set up a white label model with us on this. There's no cost for that. And then you can set your own pricing. You can make a trillion dollars a client or whatever you want. But Ben, as I said, like six times now, we've got to keep this simple because the more complicated it is, the less likely we're gonna be successful and implement it in large numbers. We anticipate enrolling a thousand people between now and the end of the year in the credit suite. This is a big deal. And, and so you can kind of hop on this running horse, or if you've got a better pony heading in a different direction to fix this problem, ride your pony, it doesn't matter to us but we have an obligation, we have an opportunity to help people address jacked up credit so they're more credible, so they're more fundable. This works. If you've got a better way, let's do it your way, but we need to do it quickly because people want funding and jacked up credit impacts funding. Does it impact all sources? Of course not. Does it impact many? It does. All right. Um, so the, the uh, Renee is asking a question. So we're keeping it simple. So for the 60 day credit suite, we're here on the business paralegal website here. I can go to the main page. So if we go to business paralegal, you'll see, well, we'll make it full. So you'll see 60 day credit suite. So th th this is the main page credibility package is where we're selling, uh, debt instruments to help. Uh, clients build their balance sheets and income statements, not what we're talking about now. The 60-day credit suite is what we're talking about now. Everything's right here on the same page, and it's it's simple. So if you want to refer in clients, you don't have to sign up to do something, you don't have to get approved to do something, you put their information in here and put referred by you. Again, for any of you that are more ambitious and more energetic and, and, and more skilled, and you want a white label version of this, we're happy to accommodate. Will there be a cost for that? Absolutely not. Is there some guaranteed volume that's necessary? There certainly is, because I've said many times, we just can't keep putting a lot of time and energy into people that say, oh yeah, I want to be a white label, and then they're kind of like a bump in the wall. So there's no separate affiliate link. It is just simple right here, right here. All right, so wrapping it up, uh, happy Monday morning. Good to visit with you. This is a big deal. This is a very big deal because one of the major barriers that we're seeing, well, I, I would say the two most significant barriers that we see to clients coming to us from access to capital are either they lack the credibility in terms that they don't have collateral or they don't have the capacity to service the type of loans they want. So the credibility package helps them with that. Separate training, separate discussion. We've gone through that before and there's a training video you can watch there. And then the other is some of these people have not managed their personal credit very well for whatever reason, not placing any judgment, life happens. This is a great solution for many of them, maybe not for all of them, but for many of them, because you and I, we've got to be laser focused, not in just enrolling clients, but let's get them funded. How do you get someone funded? Well, we can build their financial literacy. We can build their loan package. But at the end of the day, they individually have to look fundable right? They have to look credible. And so that's what we focused on putting together. If they're lacking collateral or capacity, the credibility package is beautiful, right? Produces ten dollars to $15,000 a month in monthly income. Provides the collateral of $100,000. Again, not today's topic. Training video there. 
And then this is what we're doing to address personal credit. Is this the right fit for everyone? Probably not, not saying that it is. If you've got a better solution, use yours. We're not in competition with you. We just need to together do whatever it takes, legally, ethically, morally, to get these clients credible and fundable so they can move on, get their funding, and we can go help the next client. They're happy and you're making money. Uh, Zahn asked, how do we know it's his referral? Well, if you're doing the white label, it's a complete different setup, Zahn. But if, if what you're doing is just simply referring in here, it's the referred by field that would tell us. But again, I know some of you are producers. You're going to want to white label this so you can control price and then control the flow. That's fine. Just set up an appointment. We'll set that up. But you've got to promise. You've got to commit to some volume for the 10th time. We just can't continue to spend so much time and energy on people that raise their hand and say, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to do white label. And then there's just no volume to support it. So if you can bring in at least 10 deals a month, let's set up a white label model for you. Not going to cost you anything, and you can set your own pricing. But if you can't bring in at least 10 a month, we need to just focus on this. All right, let's see here. We've got one last question. Renee asks, will the white label partner affiliate be credited if a funding client is referred initially? Well, so that's a great point. So the... The referral is for this program. And so we have this sometimes happen where a client is referred to us by person A for program one, but then they were referred to us by person B for program two. Well, whomever referred them to us, in this case, regarding Renee's question, for credit sweep is who we have to pay that $100 to just because they're the ones that triggered that. So, but it's, it's pretty easy, like Renee, you, you have fed in, and I don't know the number, I probably should, but it's first thing Monday morning. I bet you've referred in close to 500 people, at least 300 people in the past 30 days. I bet most of them would benefit based on what we're seeing from their profiles from this. I mean, you, you, Renee, you alone have a tremendous pipeline of, of people. Any of you that are referring in clients, and if you see that they're not getting a cash funding offer, what does that mean? That means they probably would benefit from some credit help, right? Because they didn't have good enough credit profile and or income to qualify for a $2,500 loan for the loan package. And so that's the easiest pre-qualification of who would qualify for credit assistance is anyone that doesn't get a cash funding offer. All right, well, I ran long. Thank you so much. We'll see you back tomorrow morning. Let's make today count. Bye-bye.